I bet with Interbet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money, two seconds later it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account. It is the start of the big one. It is the pick six race number three, and this is a maiden plate over 1400 meters. What time do you need to get your bets on if you're going to play a pick six on Monday? 13.35, 25 to two. It's over seven furlongs. And let's bring up the field now. The field uh, at the time of recording will be nine runners that will go to posture. And uh, I took down the betting at the time of recording, and I see gentle rain at 18 to 10. And then the next best, no, sorry. Flute is around 15 to 10, and Gentle Rain around 18 to 10. I think that's the way they've been uh, betting. Uh, this race, Ryle, first leg of the pick six, uh, do you have uh, a top choice? Do you have a banker? Do you have horses for the pick six? Uh, or are you in the camp of either or? Five or one, or are you going to include both or maybe cover? With no disrespect to the runners in this lineup, this is a poor field that sets to take the opening leg of the pick six. Number five, Flute. I've made him a suggested pick six bank, uh, PA banker rather. Two and a half kgs off the back. There was a nice run last time out between the Dead Heaters, Head Gardener and Runaway Song. Oh my word, it's Roy is a subsequent winner from that warm line. He seems to be coming along the right way. The blinkers go on now, as do the tongue tie. So I think that's going to help him a lot that he drops in trip to the 1400. I'm sure that Tony Rivlin would have had this race in mind for quite some time and now the two and a half cages off the back and given that he doesn't take on an overly strong lineup I think that flute could be the horse that they all have to beat here. I'm in total agreement this is a place accumulator banker for me as well and you mentioned the equipment change uh, blinkers and tongue tie the blinkers replaces the cheek piece but I think the tongue tie is just to try and help him with the the breathing issues that he's had his last uh, two starts it's been reported that he's making respiratory noise so Hopefully that assists him and just pushes him in the right directions in the race and it doesn't affect him too much in the running. And if it does just that, he's a serious runner. And I'll tell you why, because he's well related and Tony Rivlin knows his family as well. He's a half brother to a horse that won six times called Vane Kelder, who gave us a lot of good memories. Uh, Vane Kelder he was a serious racehorse on his day. So this horse flutes, Ryle saying banker PA, I'm in agreement. Number one, Gentle Rain. I'm actually surprised that he's priced up this short, but I think that's with the lack of form with the locals. So the bookmakers had no choice but to price something up as the second favorite. But he's been off for a year. And if you pull out his form line of his debut down in Cape Town, 24 runners in total. <laughs> Not just, uh, just from the, in total. I mean, subsequent runners and runners that have had three starts and four starts, 24 runners in total. No winners, so it is a poor form line. But the fact is they've given him some time out to just maybe iron out issues that he's had, and we'll see how he goes. I will tell you that the dam, she won six times. She won from 17.50 to 2,000 meters, so 1,400 may still be on the sharp side for him. So I respect him. You know, this type of stable, we saw it the other way with a horse like Airways Law. And they're not, oh, lack of a better word, they they're not shy yes. to, to rest their horses. Absolutely. You know, you know they, their horses are lightly raced. You get five-year-olds and four-year-olds. I think Mrs. Platner uh, and Andre Nell, you know, they give their horses time. You get four-year-olds and five-year-olds that are very lightly raced when you see the number of runs they had compared to others. Yes. And it's her operation, you know, she's the boss and Andre just, he steers the ship with Barony and KZN. So, you know, they gave this horse the time off and he must have been something that they was worth persevering with. Absolutely. I'm sure that they wouldn't give him such a long rest if he wasn't worth the wait. Sure. And it's close to a year now. It's the 8th of May 2021 since his last run. And uh, the computer form comment is from Andre Nalo, I'd say Byron, is that he's a horse with issues but he has a place chance in this lineup. And given that he does return from a long rest, you could possibly be wanting to bank a flute in terms of the pick six to take a stance early on in terms of a pick six and I think you could 
well be we all could be on the right horse here in the form of flute for Tony Rivland. Are you in agreement or possibly? No, when, when I look at the opposition, I mean now that you know we, we're looking at flute as a possible pick six banker now. You know we we agree he's a place accumulates a banker, but when when you try and look a bit deep and you say can he be a pick six banker as well? And then just with the process of elimination, if you're going to take out Gentle Rain and say he's going to need the run, I'm going with the comments in the computer form. He's got a place chance. Two, I can't make a case for. Three, I can maybe ca make a case for. This combination is hot, the stable's good. Four, I maybe possibly make a case for with the counting form. Six, not for me. Seven, no. Eight, no. Nine, no. So, Rael could be right, you know. Beside numbers four, three and four, there's really not much to rave about here. So, it's decision time, guys. Do you bank up flute in the pick six or not? Well, we're suggesting that he's a pick place accumulator banker. If you want to go one better, I think you'll get a true run for your money in race number three. Uh, my name's Danny Deliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. It was founded back in 2014. Communities we, we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet who just want to be part of the change.